OSPF areas. Okay, so the first question everyone knows. Okay, there is a OSPF area, and then we need to connect all the OSPF areas with this area zero. These routers are in my OSPF area zero, and these router may be in area five, area six, area seven. Okay. So if you want to connect area five to area six, then it is mandatory to have area zero. And another term you may have heard is that all areas should connect to zero. One interface can belong to only one area. Suppose this router, this router has one interface, one cable or interface port, whatever you want to say. So this interface is going towards this router. So I can add this interface in only one area. I can't add one interface in different areas. So as you all know, OSPF is a very big protocol. Like you can have unlimited hops, means you can add as many routers you want. So you can add unlimited routers. Bhi laga sakte ho isme. So to understand why we have areas, let's consider all the routers are in one area. Okay, so why we have areas? So consider all these routers are in one area. when the ospf network increases or area grows in size when area grows what will happen the network links will grow right you will have lot of network links your number of routers will increase obviously agar aapka network bada ho raha hai to usme router aur uske link bhi bad rahe hain so if you increase the area obviously the routers the links are increasing correct there are n number of reason why link flaps maybe ethernet cable is uh, not correct or maybe fiber cable have problem flap has many reasons okay so if link flaps do you know what will happen so in short the first thing will happen is whenever anything change we are going to do the again spt what we discuss spanning tree tree calculation again and due to this what will happen the link state database will increase obviously let me write here the link state database size will increase link state database lsdb means if you have many number of routers many number of links then lsdb table will also increase and becomes unmanageable correct because it will be too big to manage and when the link state database increases there is another problem that consumes more memory and if it is consuming more memory what will happen there is a delay in spf computation and then it is going to be what we call lsa flooding consider this if you do not understand what lsa is consider whenever anything happens wrong routers are going to send update to all the neighbors and what will happen all their respective neighbors they are going to send update to all their neighbors their neighbors will send update to all their neighbors and what will happen in short while like you will have a big lsa flooding in your network so this will cause more cpu resources spf will have issues the tree will take time and then your network becomes unmanageable so there could be n number of problems you will have 